Hey everyone, and welcome to our warehouse management video training, session number eight, Resolve WMS Picking 102. The second video in our pick training will cover some more advanced options like quick scanning and parking, as well as some new processes like packing during picking and capturing delivery signatures. Mastering these can enhance your warehouse productivity and make your employees' day-to-day -day lives a lot easier. The first thing we're going to go over here is how to park a pick list. Now this is just a quick little feature, but it can be extremely helpful, especially in a busy warehouse where people are using a lot of different functions and doing a lot of different jobs. So I've got my sales order pick list pulled up and I say I pick my first item. And let's say now all of a sudden a big truck shipment just came in and I need to go receive that shipment. So instead of me having to cancel out of here and start over from scratch when I'm done with the receiving, if I click finish now, it asks me do I want to finish it? So am I going to short pick this? which I'm not, I wanna finish picking it later. So I have this option here now called park. When I click on park, it's gonna park the order for me. I can go back and do whatever other work I have to do. And when I'm ready, come back to my sales order pick list screen and I can just scan or pull up or type in my pick list number. Or if I look at my list here and I don't remember what the pick list number was, if I pull up the lookup and I can click on this park button and it shows me only the pick lists that have been parked. And I can select the one that I parked it tells me that it's parked and asks me if I want to unpark it. I say yes, and you can see it, it picks up right where I left off. So just a quick way of pausing the work you're work doing, and that way you could just come back to it later if you have something pressing. The next thing we're going to go over here is the quick scan option. So just as a quick refresher, I'm going to show you how it works when we're not using it. So I'm going to pull up my pick list. I'm going to scan my bin, and then I'm going to scan my each barcode for this item. It's going to bring me to the secondary screen where I have to enter in the number of eaches I, I have. Let's say I have five individual eaches. Now I'm back out to the main screen. I got to scan my bin again. And let's say now I have a case. So I'm going to scan my case barcode. And I'm going to enter in how many cases. Back out here, I'd have to scan my bin again. So on and so forth. When utilizing the quick scan feature, so you select my pick list. I'm going to scan my bin. And I'm going to scan my each barcode. And you can see that now my picked quantity jumps up to one. So it skips the entire secondary screen and just makes the assumption of the quantity based on which unit of measure barcode you scanned. So I scanned my each barcode, so it upped it by one each. You can also notice that it left the bin field for me. I don't have to rescan that every single time. So now I'm going to scan my each again. I'm going to scan it six times total because I have six bottles. All right, now I'm going to scan my case barcode. You can see now it jumped from 6 to 30 because I have 24 eaches in a case. So now I've picked 30 total, and now I'm going to scan my six pack. You can see it jumps from 30 to 36, 36 to 42, 42 to 48. And now my bin field clears because I have picked the amount that was on my pick list. So as you can see, with quick scan enabled, I didn't have to go to the second screen. I didn't have to confirm or enter in my quantity. Whichever unit of measure barcode I scanned, it just increased the pick quantity by that much. And as you saw, it left the bin in the bin field for me, so I didn't have to scan it each and every time. This can increase your picking speed dramatically if your warehouse is barcoded and have different units of measure that you can access just with your barcode scanner. Next is our wave picking screen. Uh, the easiest way to kind of explain that is to, is to show you the differences between a non-wave pick and a wave pick. For this example, I'm going to use this pick list here. You can see that I've got three different sales orders for three different customers, a bunch of the same items, but it's all on one SAP pick list. If I pull that pick list up in the regular sales order pick list screen, you'll see that I have nine different rows just like I have on the SAP pick list. So three for each item. But now if I take us into our wave pick list screen and pull up that same pick list, you will see that it actually combines all the like items into the same row. So instead of having nine rows, three of each item with a quantity of one, I just have three rows with a quantity of three for each item. So what this does is if you've got a pick list with multiple sales orders, and a lot of the same items on them, you can combine them obviously into that one pick list. If you come into the wave pick list screen instead, the system will combine all those like rows as long as it's the same bin, same item, and same unit of measure, combine it all into a single row and make the pick list a lot smaller, make it a lot more efficient and easier to pick because I'm just gonna go to this location and instead of picking one, 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 I'm gonna just grab three and pick it in one shot. So it's going to make things a lot smoother, a lot quicker and really enhances your picking options in Resolve WMS. 
The next enhanced feature is our delivery signature option. What this allows you to do is if you have your Resolve mobile devices on let's say tablets or smartphones or anything like that that have an outside internet source, you can give these to your fleet delivery drivers. When they get to a customer, it will allow them to ask the customer for their signature and then that signature will be uploaded as an attachment back to the SAP delivery document. So let's say I'm the driver, I get to the customer's house, I type in their delivery number, I confirm the customer name, I have them confirm all the items and quantities here on my list, I click on the signature button, they will then be able to sign their name right here in the box, and I can type in the person's name so I have that, so I can read what the signature might say. When I'm all done, I just heck on accept, and now I'm just going to hop back into SAP, and if we go to the Attachments tab, you'll see I now have an attachment with the delivery number, the name captured, and the date and time stamp. And if I double-click it, it will open up for me, and I can see that signature again with that date, time stamp, and name that I captured on the device. So if you have your own trucks and you want your drivers to capture these delivery signatures, you do have that option here. It is one of the enhanced Resolve WMS options. The next enhanced feature here is our SO Touch Pick, SO Touch Confirm screens. This is kind of a two step process for picking, but what it allows you to do is pull up your pick list, and if you keep images on file in your Item Master data, we will display those images on the screen to help your warehouse workers know which item they're supposed to be picking. So if you're going to use bigger tablets or you just have a lot of similar items that look the same and maybe the item codes are all the same and you want to give the warehouse pickers a visual interpretation of the item they're picking, not just the word and item code and barcode of what they're picking, then this screen would be the one to use. You can see I can have all the images to go along with my item number. I've got the quantity and right here it's going to just ask me to confirm the quantity that I'm picking. So for this first item, since it's a batch item, when I click on save, it's going to come in here and ask me to pick my batches, which we've seen before in all our other picking screens. I'll come down here and I'll confirm the quantity of two for this one. And then on the, on the right-hand column, you'll see I also have the ability to change the bin if I want to pick from a different bin. So for this last item, let's say I'm going to choose from a different bin and I'm going to save my quantity of two. And then right now, I would click on finish. And so now the SO touch pick part is completed and all the records have been posted. So now that the SO touch pick is completed, we can come to the SO touch confirm. And what this screen does is it's sort of the same as the picking screen. You're going to see the same images of the items and the quantities. But what this does is allow you to have one warehouse worker that's walking around, maybe picking everything. And because this is going to be based on images and your items may look alike you may now have a secondary person maybe it's the packer maybe it's the warehouse manager maybe it's somebody who's just the temp worker is doing the picking so you want someone who's a full-time employee confirming that they picked the right items but now that i'm in this screen the so touch confirm i'm going to confirm those quantities and those batches for example and then when I'm all done, I'm going to hit finish. And now the confirmation is done and all the records are posted. And now the WMS process would continue as normal. So it's really just a way of visually representing your items on screen and gives the users a better chance of picking out the items if your items are very similar. The last and most certainly not least enhanced function for WMS picking that we're going to go over today is the pack while picking function. This function is extremely powerful, and depending on how your warehouse setup is, could be something that you utilize and make your life a lot, lot easier. So this is basically your sales order pick list screen, same as it was before, except now we have this option to actually have packages and packing slips created while you're picking. So a lot of customers will have, let's say, carts that they walk around with, and they will have boxes on those carts, and as I am picking my items off of the shelves, I am placing them into the packages that they are going to then be packed up in and shipped out to my customer. So instead of doing a full picking process, dumping all those items off into the packing station to then have the packing process, I am going to be the picker slash packer and I'm going to pick my items to their actual finished packages and then those packages will just have shipping labels put on them and sent right out the door. There won't be a secondary packing process. So to start, we pull up our pick list. 
just like we would any other. And you can see here, what I'll do is I will click on the new button and that is going to create a new packing slip. You can see behind here, my packing slip number is 1364-1, my first package. And it's gonna ask me, do I wanna print out a package label? So we have package labels within Resolve uh, WMS and Resolve Freight Management Mobile, where you could print out a package label that has the customer address and customer information on it. So you can put it on side of the box and let the shipper know uh, this is where this is going so that they can complete the shipment on their end. So I'm going to print package label. I'm going to say no right now for our example. So right now I am picking my items, but I'm picking whatever items I'm picking into package number one. So I would do my first item, enter in my quantity. We'll say these two are going to go into package one, pick my batch. And then the next item I'm going to click on new because I'm over here by the B10,000 item. I want to pick the other one, but I need to put this in a second box. So I'm going to click on new. It's going to now, you see dash two behind here, ask me if I want to print a package label now for this package. And it's going to ask you for each package. I'm going to select the item and I will enter my quantity and my batch and put this one now into package number two. As I get to my next item here, I do have some room for some of these. I'm going to now pick however many I can into this package number two. Let's just say we do one. And now the second package is full. I click on new and that's going to create package number three and print the label. I will put remaining two of that item into package three. And now when I get to my final item, I don't have any room left in package three. I'm going to click on new one more time. I've got package four now and I will click on here, enter in my quantity. And now you can see I have all my items picked. If I come here to the package number drop down, you see I've got four different packages. If I was curious about which item was in it, which package, I could just click on the packed button here and it will show me that two of these items are in package one. One of these and one of these is in package two. Two of these are in package three and all three of these last items are in package four. So if I'm all done picking and packing, I would click on finish. It's going to tell me all of the records are successful and it's also going to pack, pop up and ask me if I want to print out a packing slip document. Again, this is another document option we have within WMS and freight management. So I could click on print and then that would print my packing slip as well to put with the packages. If we hop out and over to the packing screen, which we saw in our previous picking 101 video, if I now pull up that packing slip and come to the pack button, you will see that everything is packed. As I click on each one, you can see the contents of each package. So this step, we did this step last video manually, one at a time, packing after we were done with the whole picking process. But because now we have the pack while picking option enabled, I took care of that all in that one step. And you can see now that these are packed already. Now, obviously, if I needed to repack something, I could do that right here from this packing screen, but it's not necessary in, unless you really need to do that because we have now finished the packing process during the picking process. So the next step would just be to now ship the packages and that's all you'd have to do. So the picking and packing process is combined into one process and it really, really, I can't stress enough, can enhance the packing, picking process in your warehouse and speed things up tremendously if you have the ability to use this process. So that wraps up our Resolve WMS Picking 102 video. And as you saw, all of those additional WMS Picking options are standard functions in Resolve Mobile. And when you utilize them in addition to the basic picking functions we saw back in Picking 101, they can enhance your warehouse processes greatly. So we'll see you all for the next video. Have a great day.